Hello guys, another review from Doom 1 Slot Reviews, and this time it's the Ford GT Black Swan Racing Car. So if I just take it out of the box. Which is C3136, for you people who want to know the product code. And so far, I've only got one thing that I thought would be different, is the screw. You haven't got the new 2011 screw, instead you've got the old version that's quite hard to get off. It took me about it took me about a couple of minutes to get this car out before I did the review. You want to get this little black separator bit, which are very hard to get very hard to keep hold of. I keep losing mine. And the only cars that I don't really use do I keep them on. An official licensed product of Ford. Okay, let's get to the car. Now as you can see very nice and detailed. Colours on the wheels are very nice as well. You've got the three little LED lights that glow up during the race to show what position they're in in the class. And this is a very nice car. Now, this car was meant to be released in 2010, um, fourth quarter but was quite late because it's almost the second quarter now of 2011 and it's only just been released. Pendle Slot had it released on May 18th. So as you can see, it's great colours. There is also the other 4GT, the Pilotti one, but also known as Robertson Racing one, which is silver. I haven't got that one. There was either a choice between this one or that one and I got this one. That's been out for quite a while. Now, I have heard rumours that this is going to be in a set with the Mercedes SLR 722, the original, the first silver one, product code C310, no, C3010, sorry, which was released a few years back. It's quite rare, so that'd be a good set. But this car is very good looking. I mean, the wheels are actually quite nice. I didn't think it'd have blue wheels. And then they did it with the blue wheels. A very nice touch with a silver outline. Sorry if the camera's a bit dodgy. And you also got very nice stripes along the top. Got the rim mirrors and everything. This cost £33.30. That's where I got it from, which is a small shop in trains, called Trains for You down in Fengate. Um, normal price would be about £35, but eBay, you can get them cheaper on eBay. Jadlam is a very good site, uh, shop on eBay. The camera makes the blue look slightly brighter than it actually is. It's a bit darker, the colours are a bit brighter than it seems. So sorry about that. And also, my light's reflecting off the top, so... This car has headlights, rear lights, brake, um, easy to change braids, and also it's got a magnet in it. As you can see, there's no um, DPR chip for it, so it would be harder to turn it into a digital car. Which is actually quite surprising, because most new cars have DPR, but this one doesn't. So that's just the look of the bottom of it. Generally, the Ford GTs are very nice cars, but they're quite fragile. This rear bit here comes out quite easy. Rin's very fragile, very easy to snap. And also, um, if you crash into a car with enough force, the front lights can easily pop out and the rim mirrors can fall off very easily. So if you're a Ford fan and you like racing Ford GTs, you have to be pretty skillful. Or if you don't honestly mind bits falling off your car, then it's okay then. But if you're a collector, I would say use it a few times. Don't go too silly with it because pieces will fall off. 
So that's the review. Pretty much basically covered everything. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And watch some of my other reviews and racing videos.